hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Oji Friska welcome 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 to my new subscribers thank you guys for joining the family it means a lot to me thank you so much to my returning subscribers Mwah. you guys are the real MVP so you guys know now when I start sharing gifts you guys I'll call I'll do a roll call you guys are going to be the first to get all the goodies so guys today's video is a different one like it is unusual like say unusual like it's different from the normal vlogs i've been giving you guys so today i have a couple of tips to share a couple of mom tips i'll say i've been a mom for two months so there are some tips i've learned they've, they've been helping me they've helped me so i just said i want to share it with you guys come on why can't i share why won't i share am i going to eat these tips am i going to keep them to myself so i just want to share these few tips to you guys Especially the new moms, I know it's going to help you guys if you guys implement them, and I feel like they're also going to help older moms too. I know that some people will be like, "Hey, you've been a mom for two months. What do you know?" I don't know anything about. You, know, you guys can learn from anybody. You can learn from even someone that's not a mom. So there's no harm in getting or learning these tips from me. Without talking too much, let's get right into the video. <laughs> I said earlier i have a few tips i've learned in my two months of being a mom and i feel like i want to share them with you these tips are going to help us with our babies they're going to help us know when and what to administer to our babies you know how to you know help our babies how to make our babies comfortable and how to make ourselves comfortable so these tips are very useful i can say that i, I say that because i've been using them i have used them and they've been useful to me so i'm here to share these tips with you guys so please guys do me a favor just watch this video to the end like my video comment because i feel like you guys also have tips to share with me you feel like these tips are you know unnecessary or like they are making sense you can you know leave it in the comment section just encourage me just do something just say something to make this video to help this video do well so without talking too much let us start number one tip i have to share with new moms is that newborn newborn clothes run away from newborn clothes newborn clothes are on they are so unnecessary they are so cute but they are unnecessary if you're a new mom or you're a mom to be and you're confused on what to buy for your for your newborn guys just buy three to six months clothes avoid anything that has to do with newborn like they are so unnecessary newborns are not that tiny like they are not that tiny i feel like most newborn clothes are made for dolls yes i'm saying that they are made for dolls because i bought a lot of them thinking that my baby is going to be so tiny and guys none of them sized my newborn like none of them sized my baby they are all useless to me like they are all in the baby's drawer just sitting down there and doing nothing guys if you have the money you can buy all the newborn clothes in the world but i'm just telling you because i regret buying newborn clothes so I'm just telling you out. I'm just telling you guys to say that you save your money, you can save your change, you can save your coins and buy other clothes or spend your money on other things other than new one clothes. Number two tips I have here is Vaseline is all you need for your, for your baby's nappy rash. If your baby is having nappy rash or even skin rash, guys, believe me, all you need is Vaseline. You don't have to buy all this exotic nappy rash cream it's not necessary i have pseudo cream and ad ad and d i think that's what it's called and they're not as as, as effective as vaseline when my baby turned three weeks a be a month he had this terrible butt rash or like nappy rash i used pseudo cream for almost four days and it didn't work but the minute i started using vaseline guys in the cup two days and everything cleared up like it cleared up and my baby's butt is as new as so Vaseline is all you need for your baby's nappy rash. Even for normal skin rash, you can use, you can just apply Vaseline. Just give it time, and it will clear. You don't have to buy all this other baby nappy rash cream out there. You don't even need to buy Skinel or Fumbate. It is not necessary. Vaseline is all you need. Stick to Vaseline, and you'll be fine. Number three tip I have here is, your baby must not be fat. I don't know this idea of. I want my baby to be fat. I don't know where the baby, the idea came from. Like your baby must not be fat. If you have a healthy baby, if your baby, if your baby has a good amount of weight or gains a good amount of weight, you don't have to worry about if baby is fat or slim. 
all fat babies are not healthy fat does not mean healthy i'm telling you i know i know slim babies that are healthier than fat babies so but your baby can be fat and be obese yes your baby can be fat and be obese or something i don't know what's called obese or obese fat does not mean that your baby is healthy take that idea off your head if your baby eats well if your baby gains a good amount of weight guys your baby is fine and good to go number four number four tip i have here is you must not give a baby abidec abidec is a multivitamin drug they give the baby to help them you know boost their appetite guys you must not give a baby abidec if a baby feeds well if a baby demands for food when he or she is meant to fine you must not give a baby abidec or any form of multivitamin to make the child eat if a baby eats fine if, if you're giving a baby abidec a baby feeds fine that's that's like an extra work on you and your baby it's like overworking yourself overworking your baby you don't need it like you don't need it just feed your baby fine feed your baby on demand and you're good to go number five tip i have here is dress your baby according to weather this tip is for nigerian moms you don't have to overcover your child your child your your child is just like you if you feel hot your baby feels hot if you feel cold your baby feels feels cold so dress the child according to weather i have seen new moms where the baby is meeting socks cap singlet and then wear them cover on and still cover them with blankets like what is the use you don't live in canada or, or iceland where the weather is always cold you live in nigeria where we, we where we have a like the sun is hot like it is hot here in night it is hot in this part of the world and you're covering your baby like a baby is your baby is in iceland it's not important like all this covering like over covering even makes the baby have skin rash like it gives them skin rash it makes them uncomfortable the weather is hot you're wearing singlets like you're you're you're, you're, you're exposed not like totally exposed and you're sweating and you're covering your baby you can imagine like it is not needed. Dress the child according to whether the weather is cold, cover the child up. The weather is hot, like bear the child, you know, light clothes, like something that air can enter through, like something that air can, you know, enter through. Yeah. Number six is stop over accessorizing your kids. Your babies are born cute. You don't need chain. You don't need bangle. You don't need. You don't need heavy boots, you don't need bangles, you don't need earrings, you don't need, you need, you don't need all these things to make baby, babies look cute. So people go as fast making up their babies, like what is the use, sister, it's not important. Allow these children breed. If you want them to look cute, be minimal with your, you know, accessorizing, like it is not, these, these are children, allow them be children. Just dress them, just be little about your dressing and, you know, accessorizing and they're fine and they're good to go number number eight tip is you must not use or take all the advice or suggestion that comes your way guys it is not everything anybody tells you to use that you use on your baby's body or give to your baby if your baby is having stomach pain just give what the doctor recommends you must not give mint water this water bitter cola water or whatever your baby is going to be fine eventually just follow the doctor's prescription or advice and you're good to go when your baby's having skin rashes, just use Vaseline or whatever your doctor prescribes. Your baby's skin will be fine. Nobody should come and tell you, use Pumbat, eh, use this, use that. You're damaging the baby's skin for crying out loud. Allow these children be children. Allow them breathe. Allow them, allow them rest. These are human beings like you. The last but not the, but the last but not the least tip I have here is your baby must not be fair. You must not have a fair baby to know that your baby is fine or your baby is cute. All babies are born cute, like I said earlier. You're dark, your husband is dark. How do you expect to have a fair child? It doesn't work that way. If you're fair and your husband is fair, fine, you can have a fair baby. Or you can even also have a dark baby. You can be dark and your, baby, your husband is fair and you also have a dark baby. Or a fair baby. This special, this special, this perception about I want to have a fair baby should be taken out of us. It is not needed. Babies are born cute, and for people that want their babies to be fair, when their babies are dark, they go as far as you know using bleaching cream on a baby. I have heard, I have not seen or though using bleaching cream on creams on their baby to make their babies fair. Why, sister? Like why? You are damaging this baby's skin. 
these are the tips I have for now. If you have any other tip, you can drop it. You can drop it in the comment section. You know, just to share for other moms to to learn. And if you feel like these tips I shared are important, you can just you know give it a thumbs up. Encourage me. Do what the needful baby is awake, guys. I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share if possible, comment. Thank you guys. Until my next video, stay blessed.